So today's session is about sampling. We're going to look at different types of sampling and to learn to identify each type of sampling. Now the first one is random sampling. Here every member of the population has an equal chance of selection like in a raffle ticket. Every ticket has an equal chance of being selected and being announced as the winner. Now, um, this eliminates bias because we don't know what is there in the box in terms of whose tickets are there. So, uh, random sampling, the most essential part is that it eliminates selection bias. So, the next type of sampling method is systematic sampling. Here, the population is divided or arranged in an order and then I choose every nth person for the to be interviewed. Say for example, I choose every fifth person or every tenth person I meet in the high street or every tenth person who gets off the bus, I try to interview them. So there is a system towards my selection of the sample. So that is systematic sampling. The next sampling method is stratified sampling. Here I'm dividing my sample or my population into layers. So I'm saying I'm first dividing them into men and then women. And then within the men, I am choosing at random, I'm choosing two of them or three of them, depending on how much I want as my sample size. And then again, I repeat the same thing. I choose from this um, I, I first make the, divide the groups between male and female and then with the female again I do the random selection. So first I have a layer, a system or a selection process of categorizing them and then selecting at random. So here the essential part you need to notice is random selection. My method of arriving at two samples from a population of four here is at random. So because if the second stage is random sampling, it will be stratified sampling method. The next stage is, the next uh, sampling method is multi-stage sampling. Here, uh, if the population size is large, then I keep dividing and eliminating the population. Say for example, I want to uh, take a survey for the whole country of United Kingdom. How do I do that? Now I need to divide them into different, um, as a first stage, a different, I divide them into areas, pick a sample at random, and then divide them in town-wise spaces, and then again pick a, a sample in random, and then divide them possibly by street-wise or anything, and divide, arrive at a sample. And then at the last stage, at the very last stage, whoever, whoever I have, I interview everybody in that. So basically this is to keep eliminating until I reach a stage where I'm comfortable to interview everybody in that. Now the cluster sampling is another method. The cluster sampling is also similar to the multi-stage sampling. It's just that I have a predefinable subsection is selected. Like say for example from this sample I want to interview mothers with children under five years or fathers who have teenage sons. So if this, if they fill this criteria, then I, I interview every one of them from that group. So that is cluster. I'm putting them in a cluster and I'm making sure I interview every one of them who fits the description. Now the last method is quota sampling. Quota sampling is a non-random basis sampling. So what does that mean is uh, so it's a non-probability sampling, which means that the the sample is not selected in random. So uh, if, if for say for example, my company says go and interview two hundred males. So until I reach my quota of two hundred males, I'm going to keep interviewing them. Once I've interviewed my two hundredth male, I'll stop that. So until I reach a certain quota. I am going to keep interviewing them. There is no random mode, there is, there is no um, selection here. There's not a probability sampling. So these are the different types of sampling methods. And we'll just look at the questions and answers to help us understand better. Now, which of the following statements describes the essence of systematic sampling? Now, systematic sampling, we know that we have to divide the population by the every 
and select nth term or so the nth person like the fifth person I need to interview or the tenth person. So going by that description, every nth member of the population is selected. That is the correct answer. Okay. Let's look at the next question. A firm which bottles shampoo selects some filled bottles for examination. So at a random, they have to pick up some bottles for examination. The procedure uses this random starting point and then the x that bottle filled and every bottle at the interval of y. Now this question by itself might seem confusing but it is actually um, systematic sampling where every nth bottle is selected. So it is systematic. It is not, though it might seem like multi-stage where it, it goes through different stages but one thing to note is that between this one and this one there is no elimination. Because there is no elimination it is systematic sampling. Now the next question. The following statements are often made about simple random sampling. Okay, it, it ensures a representative sample? No. The most important factor about a simple random sampling is that it eliminates selection bias. So the answer is 2 alone B. The next question. An accountant has to check a sample of invoices. The invoices are divided into three groups of value. This is interesting. So the invoices are being categorized and then samples are selected randomly. Now we know this. First we layer them and then we select them randomly. Now that is stratified. A company wishes to carry out a national survey of adults. Now national survey which means that the population size is huge, will naturally tend to move towards the multi-stage because at each stage I have to keep eliminating and keep reducing my population until I reach a sample size where I'm comfortable in interviewing all of them. So let's read on. To reduce the traveling cost, the country has divided into constituencies. A sample of 50 constituencies were selected at random. With each of these constituencies, five polling districts were selected. Again, using random techniques, interviewers will visit a random selection of 30 people on the electoral register of each district selected. Now, straight away, it is multi-stage. Which two of the following statements are true? If a sample is selected using random sampling, it will be free of bias which is the very essence of random sampling, yes. A sampling frame is numbered list of all items in a sample or in cluster sampling there's very little potential for bias, which is false. In quota sampling, investigators are told to interview all people they need to meet up up to a certain quota. So this one is correct. That's what you do in a quota sampling and this one is correct. If a sample is selected using random sample, it will be free from bias. So here we look at the last question. Under which sampling method does every member of the target population have an equal chance of being in the sample? This is very simply the random sampling. That's it for today. I hope you were able to learn from this. I will come back with more videos. Thank you.